Yo. I am in Japan, and guys, do you want to know what else is in Japan? Beyblades. At the time of recording this video, the new Beyblade X series is just about to launch, so every store in all of Japan is trying to get rid of all their washed up burst Beyblades. So in today's video, I will attempt to save all of Japan from this financial crisis by going to every store and buying every different type of Beyblade I can get my grubby hands on. And get this, give it away to you guys. I'm kind of turning into the Mr. Beast of Beyblades, especially with these like crazy like eye melting thumbnails. Anyway, if you want to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe and fill out the Google form in the description. I'll announce the winner on my community tab a month after this video releases. Alright, now with that out of the way, let's get bay hunting. To start off, we went to what was advertised as the biggest toy store in all of Japan, Toy Park. But when we got there, we weren't so confident that we would find any bays. Alright, so here we are at the biggest toy store. There's Jake. Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside. They better have Beyblades. They better have Beyblades. They hope they have Beyblades. It's advertised as the biggest toy store. I mean, so. Beyblades are kind of getting phased out, so I don't know. They had plushies, they had mechs, and they even had these crazy battle bug cars. Dang it, I wish I bought those. Those look so cool. But sadly, no Beyblades in sight. At least that was until I saw this. A single Random Lair Collection Volume 2 with the prize Beyblade Poison Hydra. The box on screen, by the way, is empty. They literally locked this thing behind the counter and you needed to ask staff to buy it. So like, it must be valuable. It's the only Beyblade left in the entirety of Japan. I thought I was doing Japan a favor by buying these like leftover burst Beyblades, but it seems like they're a rare hot commodity. They're like nowhere to be found. Anyway, I went up to the counter and bought the last Beyblade in the store and also some One Piece cards because One Piece is goaded. So yeah, the first store we went to was kind of disappointing, especially since it advertised itself as the biggest toy store in all of Japan. So the next store we were going to would have to be bigger. What is bigger than the biggest toy store in all of Japan? We are going to the biggest toy franchise in the whole entire world. I'm sure you guys know what store I'm talking about. We are of course going to Toys R Us, my literal childhood, until they went bankrupt and turned my local one into a furniture store. Reality can be depressing at times. But luckily for us, there's still a thing in Japan, so let's go. There's Toys R Us, and there's the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> This is so weird. It has the Statue of Liberty and the Toys R Us, both things I haven't seen in the US. <laughs> when we entered the store, it was honestly magical. I was hit by like a wave of nostalgia. It was like I was experiencing my childhood all over again. It looked just like the Toys R Us I went to when I was little. We even found these super cute Pikachu baby clothes. I mean, now they're gonna see we're gonna get together. Why do you always gotta make it weird to you? Anyway, after having a little fun, we finally arrived at the Beyblade section. Oh. Beyblade, Beyblade. Oh, Beyblade. Toys R Us was absolutely stacked. Compared to the toy park, they had a crazy amount of options. They had a Zest Achilles set, one of the best dynamite Beyblades, a Xiphoid Excalibur with a giant sword launcher, the most unhinged Beyblade ever made Hello Kitty, and a random booster volume 30 with the prize Beyblade Wind Knight. And I think Wind Knight, the layer, is literally the best layer Takeru Tomi has ever released in all the Beyblade. Anyway, I bought all the Beyblades and it was an absolutely insane haul from Toys R Us, but the day wasn't over. We still had a couple more stores we knew we had to visit. And the next store on our list isn't just a toy store, but one of the biggest stores in all of Japan. Bic Camera. They spelled Asia wrong. Now although it had six floors, luckily for us, it also had an escalator. And these flippin' dancing Pikachus, which are so adorable, oh my goodness, I should've bought like 20 of them and took them home. But we, we didn't come here for the Pikachus. We came here for the Beyblades. Would they have what seems to be the rarest thing in all of Japan? Oh, Jake, look how many Beyblades, Beyblades. they have. Let's go. This place had even more Beyblades than Toys R Us. We picked up a Dynamite Baleo, Death Solomon, and a Gatling Dragon. Three super powerful Dynamite Beyblades. But it wasn't dark yet, so our search for Beyblades wasn't over. We still had time to visit one last store. A small store in Akihabara, home of the Anime Girls. It was inside of a shopping mall which contained all things anime and I think every middle schooler around the nation would go crazy. 
This was the mother love. They had so many different types of Beyblades and so many different parts. But sadly guys, it was honestly just way too much and I, I just couldn't buy all of them. So instead, I decided to go with 10 random layers to add to the pile. So in the end, we ended up with a crazy haul of Beyblades. We got a random layer collection volume 2, Hello Kitty, Zest Achilles, Xiphoid Excalibur, Random Booster Volume 30, Dynamite Belial, Death Solomon, Gatling Dragon, and 10 random layers. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want a chance to win these Beyblades, again, all you have to do is subscribe and enter the Google form in the description. And yeah, I guess I want to thank you guys for supporting the channel because it honestly really means a lot. It's really fun going on these trips and recording these videos for you guys. And I don't think I would even be able to go to Japan if you guys weren't supporting me. So I just want to thank you guys. Uh, you guys have made my life great. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, seriously, thank you. And I, I, I don't know what else to say. Okay, bye. <laughs>